Hi, welcome to Batek Storytime. Today I'm going to read There's a Triceratops in the Treehouse, Dinosaur Facts Brought to Life. There's a Triceratops in the Treehouse by Alexei Bitskoff and Ruth Simmons. Triceratops was a big plant-eating dinosaur with three massive horns on his head. He lived around 70 million years ago, many millions of years before the first humans arrived. But just imagine if Triceratops was alive today, how would he cope with modern life? Here he is, munching on some leaves. What if Triceratops joined a football team? He had sturdy legs for racing up and down the pitch, but he might pop the ball with his sharp horns. With his metre-long horn the size of a hockey stick, Triceratops would be great at ice hockey. What do you think? What if a Triceratops went to the dentist? It would take the dentist all day to check his teeth. Triceratops could have up to 800 teeth in his mouth. I wouldn't want to count all of those. What if Triceratops caught the train? At nine metres long, Triceratops was almost the size of a train carriage. He wouldn't fit in with the other passengers, but he could travel in the goods wagon. Can you see his train ticket on the end of his horn? What if Triceratops went on holiday? With his sharp parrot-like beak, Triceratops could easily crack open coconuts. They would make a tasty drink for everyone on the beach. But Triceratops would rather munch on palm leaves. His sharp teeth were perfect for slicing them up. And you see all the children enjoying the coconuts and the Triceratops munching on those palm leaves. Looks nice there. Was Triceratops taller than my dad? Triceratops was much taller than any human. His skull alone was taller than your dad. It was 2.5 metres long. Baby Triceratops was much smaller than its parents. Its head was only just bigger than yours. We've got some nice pictures to see a Triceratops compared to a human. What if Triceratops went on a school trip? He would have great fun, especially at a castle. He could pretend to fight like a knight. Triceratops wouldn't need armour as his thick skin was good protection. He wouldn't need a lance because he had two long horns on his head and he was bigger than any horse. I think I know who might win that jousting contest. What if Triceratops took a ride in a hot air balloon? It would have to be a very big balloon. Triceratops weighed 4.5 tonnes. That's as much as 200 children. So yeah, I think you probably fit about 10 children in a normal hot air balloon. So that would be huge. What if Triceratops got too hot? Animals keep cool in different ways. Humans sweat, and dogs pant. But Triceratops would use his head frill to cool down. Blood flowing to the frill carried heat away from his body. He just had to find some shade or a nice cool breeze. Can you see his frill? It's highlighted in pink there, just to show that he's a little bit warm in the sun. I think that tree is giving him a bit of shade. What if Triceratops came to my tree house? He'd be too big and heavy to get in the tree and his thick legs and chunky feet would make it hard to climb a ladder. But he'd help you all get down. Definitely think I'd like to have a go at sliding down a Triceratops's tail. Triceratops' skeleton. Everything we know about Triceratops comes from fossils. Skeletons that have been in the ground for thousands and thousands of years. 
scientists can look at fossils to work out how dinosaurs lived in the past. This means we know lots about dinosaurs, even though no one has ever seen one. They've got big, heavy tails, thick, sturdy legs, bulky body, large head frill, two long horns, one short horn, and a sharp beak. And here you can see a picture of a Triceratops' skeleton and also a photo of a fossil of a Triceratops. Passport for a Triceratops. Triceratops. Name means three horned face. Weight 4.5 tons. Length 9 meters. Height 3 meters. Habitat scrubland, bush, prairies. Diet ferns, palm leaves, and other plants. And that, I'm afraid, brings us to the end of our story today. Thanks for listening and look forward to seeing you again next week. Bye.